Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I'm going to share with you my newly completed album featuring Blue Ferns Yuletide. This is just gorgeous. So we've only started carrying um, Blue Fern recently, and I've only done a couple things with it. I did passages. Let me tell you, this paper is just so wonderful. I, I'm really enjoying the touch and feel of it. But in addition, I really love this collection. Um, I think this is so sweet. So this is my cover, and I kept it simple. I was going to put some bows, but then I, I just, I don't know. I just really like it the way it is. I did go in and use some diamond glaze on all the berries, which is similar to glossy accents. So they kind of stand out a little bit, probably a little more in person than they do in this light here. Um, but I liked it. It turned out very nice. Um, this was from the 12 by 12 collection and it was in the upper left hand corner and I trimmed the right hand side off so I could shift the main image over to the side and that's why you see some piecing or color blocking here. Uh, nice spine, simple spine and then um, this is one of the die cuts and so is this. The die cuts are really pretty. Um, I've used a couple uh, throughout but they're really gorgeous. If you're a card maker you're going to love um, the bits and bobs, which are kind of like ephemera if you're used to graphic 45, and the die cuts. They're really wonderful. And the, the weight of this designer paper is just, oh, it's delicious. Okay, so that is my cover. Here's the inside. I really loved this pattern. Um, and this is from the 12 by 12 collection, and I only had one, so I had to split it on two different pages. Um, this is one of the die cut elements and then of course I did a little bit of color blocking. Here I fussy cut an image and then cardstock backed it so it's a pocket and then I have this 7x7 seven seven insert and then this is one of the, um, they call it bits and bobs but it's an, I call it an ephemera card and it's, it's just gorgeous. And so you can either journal or add a photo to the back. Every pocket page has an insert and I put a one and a half inch uh, design strip just to create some cohesion as you lay down. I actually do have enough cardstock left to cover uh, at least one side of each one of these, um, but I left it as is. I may come back and, and add that later, but I wanted to get the content out to you guys. Okay, this without a doubt is my favorite two page layout. Um, I just love the way this came together. I love this image and the skates. So over here I have two four by four bifolds. So you can, and this is left um, open-ended. Let me get a little piece of cardstock to slip behind it. I left this open-ended so you could tuck your photo slightly behind it. You don't have to do that. You can always have your photo go slightly over as well. These are held uh, together with magnets. And then over here we have a nice simple bifold. This was the A side, this was the B side. And then this is a piece of the um, uh, the designer card stock. Again, another insert. I'm not going to pull them all out. Uh, with a one and a half inch band on the front and back. Um, this is page four and five. Oh, the other thing I did that's different with this album is every page is different. Um, so normally I do four page designs and um, this one, every single page is different. It's absolutely designed around the paper. Um, because the images are so strong and beautiful. Right here is a um, die cut that I fussy cut further down. So when you see the die cuts, it has a rather large border around it that's white and that was too too bold um, in my opinion. So I trimmed it down a little and then I went back with my ink pad, my sponge ink pad and tapped on this a little bit to bring tone down that bright white. Okay, this is a nice big pocket and here is a 7x7 seven seven insert and this is the um, B side of one of the uh, ephemera cards and I put a uh, brown cardstock and then a cream cardstock so it's nice and rigid. You can do journaling or you can get a 4x6 photo on the reverse side and there's plenty of room in here for more. Okay, over here this is the front and back of the same ephemera card. You get two in per pack. Now this one I was originally going to keep closed with a magnet and I got my paper put down before I located my magnet so I came up with a way to close it in a weave so that a magnet's not required. So basically this goes down behind the front one. So it goes down behind this panel and this 
goes in between and it and it locks everything into place it's stuck on something sorry about that. there you go so and that's going to keep it in a closed position so it's just kind of a weave I've done that before with chipboard pieces but not with not with the cardstock so no magnet required and a nice simple and you have to leave a little bit of your card um, not glued down so that it can weave between you might have to fuss with it a little, but not too much. There we go. Okay, these are trifolds that open up. This is the front and back of the same image. Here, oh, I forgot to tell you. No, I did tell you. That's a uh, die cut. And here's another die cut that I added. This was just a little bit blank. It needed something. Um, you could also put, I didn't want to leave it empty, but you could get a small two and a half by two and a half photo there and it would fit with some border around it. Okay, these open up and then open again. So I'm calling these trifolds. And you'll notice the very back has the brown cardstock so that when it's in its closed position, it looks like it's matted with um, brown on the back side. I added this die cut here and it comes across. Just gorgeous paper. And this, without a doubt, is my favorite. That's why it's also featured on the front. Uh, these two little birds are just so sweet. Here I've cardstock backed with both brown and cream and ephemera card that's perfect for journaling. Could also get a photo on here. Another spot for journaling. And then a very large photo mat. So you could easily feature a five by seven photo. Ah, not quite seven. Uh, four by six would fit on here. This is seven inches tall, so you'd want to have some border around it. Another die cut featured here, just to further embellish. And that is Yuletide, Blue Ferns Yuletide. I hope you guys enjoyed this. All the tutorials are up and ready for you to enjoy. Please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. That really helps us a lot on the business side. Um, we get new viewers one of two ways. You guys share us with somebody that you scrap with or YouTube um, puts us up as a recommended view for um, people that are looking at mini albums. So those are really the two ways that we get that. And you, YouTube will further promote us if they're seeing us get liked and subscribed to. It's part of their algorithm and that makes them realize that you know enough people are looking at us that they want to promote us as well as a recommended video so when you take a t your time to do that it really does help us um and also i love your feedback especially if you guys have recommendations that you'd like to see me incorporate in the build process of these albums i want them to be as useful as possible so thanks everybody for tuning in this is daphne from scrapping create i'll see you soon